What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy, Scott Vlad. Welcome back to the Anything and Everything Podcast, episode number 10. I hope you are having a beautiful Monday, if you're watching it today when I post it. It's nice and sunny out here in Canada. I just came back from a run and a swim in Lake Ontario, switching my days up again. You know me, I'm always trying to become the best version of myself. I So today, I actually haven't filmed in like a week something like that i've been kind of slack and i took the past week off from uh kind of my own productivity kind of thing and i started doing like kijiji cash jobs i so i was looking for cash jobs on the kijiji app and i worked like five six days in a row different jobs i met some cool freaking people some cool animals like chickens sheep sheeple (laughs) um and i met like um made some money I was out in the sun most of the days, all day, out in the middle of fucking nature, and uh, having an income, right? Everything I could have ever wanted was in that package, I guess, right? So that's where I'm going to come in and talk about like fulfillment and feeling whole in doing what you're doing. If you're in purpose, on purpose, uh, doing something you're passionate about, I don't see anything wrong with that, right? So if you're like, Let's say, for example, work in a job that you like. You like doing that job and it also provides you an income, right? You're not just doing it for the income. You're doing it because you're passionate about something that is in that area, right? And that was me. It was like, okay, well, it's on my own terms. I'm making good cash an hour. I'm meeting different people. I'm in the sun. I'm in the middle of nature, basically every single job. Getting exercise and fitness and I'm getting cash paid at the end of the day. And obviously, this is just a temporary type thing until I can get my own type of self-employment entrepreneurial gigs up and running. But for now, it's it's like a huge package. Right? I'm feeling at the end of the day, I'm feeling like, wow, I wasn't just exchanging my time for money. I was like getting so much more benefits out of it. Like I'm saying, nature, animals, sun, fitness. And then, yes, I was tired at the end of the day, though. I didn't get as much done as I would have liked to. But that's also a learning lesson for myself, right? It's like, okay, well, how do I feel after this? Well, I feel very productive. I feel fulfilled. I feel more whole than when I was just doing nothing. But then when I was just filming videos and doing nature stuff and not bringing in an income, I didn't feel as proper, right? So I'm keeping this balance. Maybe I'm going to do one week on, like working a lot, if I can find these gigs, And then the next week, I might work one or two, but then also take the time, like I am this week, to go within more, right? Like get more of my stuff done, like film videos, meditate more, read, get out in nature on my own turf, I guess you could say, right? And there's always signs I'm going to see, synchronicities everywhere to show me that I'm on the path of my purpose, right? Just because I'm not like... Like, you know, where people are saying, like, you got to find your purpose. and It's like purpose is in everything. It's just you got to find that purpose within the everything. And once you're on full purpose, then everything comes much easier. Just like I start getting more gigs, for example. This is like from these jobs. I'm like, oh, they want me back. Okay, okay, I can do this, this, this. Oh, and now there's another sign. And like when I'm driving, I, I see signs everywhere. Literally every day for the past year almost. It's like, I'll be driving, I'm like, yeah, and I don't look for them anymore. I'm not like, oh, can I see 1111? Oh my gosh, there's 444. No, it just pops up. I'm just nodding my head, listening to music in the car, driving or whatever it is. License plate 111. Stop for a second. Thank you, universe. I'm divinely guided, right? I see it on a house number, 1313. Or I see 444 on a license plate, 222 on a license plate. Fucking 666 on a license plate. I've seen them all. On the time, I check the time and it's like, oh. Be grateful. But thank you, universe. I know I'm on purpose and I'm on my path. I'm where I'm meant to be. And if you say that, then it's going to happen. If you're like, oh, I am meant, I am where I am meant to be today. Bam. You're where you're meant to be. Everything that you do now is guided by that divine presence as well as you know it yourself. You believe it yourself. You're in that awareness, right? And uh, I did notice, so I was a little stressed and anxious. Not just because of uh, the work. The work actually made me feel really good for the most part. It was when I came home because my dad has been staying with me. He got a new puppy, St. Bernard puppy. And um, he's living in his van, right? So when he came over, he was staying for a week. He was showering, getting more set up for the van. So when he takes off, but it was stressful. I could just feel it in the energy. And I'm not blaming him, no. But it's 
my own awareness that I need to take into that action, taking the accountability that it's nobody else is to blame but me. Just because he's like, I'm feeling stressed because of certain things that he's doing or because it was so loud, there's so much stimulation, too many people talking in the house, that kind of thing. I had to really hone in on my own presence, on my own body, my own awareness and be like, okay, where is it and why am I feeling this, like these feelings and emotions, right? And then when he left, I was like, I feel so much better. I felt like a weight was lifted, but it's not him. No, he's his own person. I'm my own person. I just can't attach myself to his energy in that way, right? Obviously, it happened. Obviously, I got a little mad sometimes and triggered. But that's, once again, where you can grow. That's where the awareness comes in. And it's like, oh, shit. Where can I work on in my life so I don't get as triggered so I can become the best version of myself and live in peace and harmony baby all right you feel me I know you feel me so that's basically like what I've been doing the past week what I've been experiencing and feeling what have you been doing are you are you feeling good are you happy um but if you like the video give it a thumbs up. If you want to comment down below, let me know what you're doing. And if you want to subscribe, click, click. Thank you so much for tuning into episode number 10 of the Anything and Everything podcast. I'm Scott Vlad. Peace, love, and happiness.